the bus. Mm -hmm. That's right. This week on Remember When, uh, of course, Mr. T was uh, uh, announced as an inductee into this year's 2014 Hall of Fame. Oops, there's LB. Uh, so I want to know, guys, <laughs> Hi. please tell me, what is your favorite episode of A-Team? Oh. Uh, that one where, where they got in trouble, everything blew up, but everyone turned out okay. Okay. When they, when they shot at people and missed. It was the one where they. The one, the one where that old guy said. Sorg. Everybody it was knows the one that. where I found out that Barkley from uh, uh, Star Trek was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I love when B. A. Baracus showed up on Impact. All that right, was all great. right. You know, okay, maybe maybe that's not 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 completely. Let's see on Impact. <laughs> I missed <a> trademark. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there's a lot of celebrity moments. We've had a few of them inductees in the Hall of Fame, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and and it's always it, it always attracts the celebrities from Liberace in the beginning. I hope that wasn't somebody's uh, to now. God damn it! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> sorry, Bobby. Sorry, Bobby. I know you love your Liberace. You know how much I love Liberace. Your Liberace and the dancing girls. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, but no. What is your favorite moment? Memory of uh, celebrities at WrestleMania. Hmm. Hmm. I got, I got one. Okay. Whoa, well, you got got Riz and I have a booth with her. No, no, no. You go Everybody ahead. You set it first. Everybody oh, else. thank you, Riz. You're such a gentleman. All righty. Mine would have to be uh, Kid Rock doing The Undertaker's theme. Shut your mouth. <laughs> no, I'm with that. He is not. He is not a celebrity. He's the celebrity. He is. Wait, he is on the this. Undertaker's team? Mm -hmm. I think you mean Limp Biscuit. Didn't. Yeah, sorry. Limp Actually, Limp Biscuit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Kid Maybe Rock is better than Limp Biscuit. Continue on your spiel. <laughs> yeah, I did like Limp Biscuit doing it because one. <laughs> Because I am wheels and I do love that song, so <laughs> I liked it. And Guys, if you don't like it, Riz, oh I got two words for you. Con yes, Sorg. Con confession, confession. That was yours. Uh, we were talking about Bob Evans on the gold after Bob Evans. For I don't know how we got to this point, but the misses and us were completely jamming out for, to Roland. There's like, nothing wrong with that. I love you too. I love you, swords. I mean, you guys have awesome. nothing wrong with that. Just, like, doing Everything it, and that I'm doing came a little dance. For Roland. And I thought back to the to the to the the the, the, the Fred Durst dressed girls from the d thing and and dancing and stuff. And then we played Nookie. Hate rockers, <laughs> hip hoppers, oh, and everybody all, all around the world. TMI, exactly. sword. TMI. Oh, the song. The song. Okay I did like there? that Taker was actually <laughs> able to. <laughs> Speed down that ramp on the motorcycle during roller. You know, I like yeah, it. that was awesome. I, like I he was it. actually able to get that shit up to thirty a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was the, that was like the first time he could really cut loose. You know, uh, on yeah. that. that he didn't kill anybody like Austin said he's done many times with the the four wheeler. Yeah, four -wheeler. all over. <laughs> that gets Christ. a little sketchy sometimes. I, you know, I watched the one with the um the four, the, the 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 monster truck. How did he not kill the front row on both sides? <laughs> so, um, but no, anyways, with that, uh, 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 who's next? Who's next? Riz, you got one? Riz. I do. Um, going back to uh, the first WrestleMania, there was a lot of celebrities in that one. Uh, I was watching the, uh, the WrestleMania Rewind for that match, and I knew about... I, I knew about... Uh, Muhammad Ali, I knew about Liberace, I knew about all these, uh, Cindy Lauper and all that, um, but what I didn't realize was Billy Martin was there. <laughs> That's right. Like, I, I, I never realized Billy Martin was the guest ring announcer for that match, and for those who don't know, and Mad Mike, I'm, if, you, if you say you don't know you are lying to yourself. I know. I know here. who Billy Martin is, Riz. Um, <laughs> but it's still. It was weird knowing that, above all else, in Yank in in New York, that Billy Martin was the ring announcer, and nothing else. 
He didn't like yell at anybody. He didn't. Just, just they they only it. let him ring it out. They only let him talk. <laughs> and um, he was. I'm just gonna say it right now. He was horrible at that. <laughs> <laughs> he was no think, right? No. No think. What about you, Mad Mike? Uh, so many to choose from. I don't want. I don't want to take someone else's. So I'm you going to will. say no, no, no. I guarantee I'm not going to, because I'm going to pick one that wasn't necessarily good, but just popped into my head for some reason. The Miller Lite Catfight Girls. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> why? I don't know why that popped into my head. I wanted to. Th- I wanted to say someone who's I wouldn't steal. But the Miller Lite Catfight Girls and how fucking horrible that entire segment was. It was it just ended up being really, really bad. And like I remember Coach was trying to live commentate while he was standing over them mm-hmm. and the girls had like the biggest smiles on their face while they were hitting themselves hitting each other with bad pillows. Like oh it was just That's right, it was like a pillow fight, wasn't it? It was it was a pillow fight, and then I think Tori and Stacy came down and did a cat fight where they were rolling around on each other on the steel ramp, which had to hurt a little bit. <laughs> it was just horrible, <laughs> absolutely horrible. So congratulations, Wheels. That is more of a celebrity than the no, the cat fight girls. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thank you. I'm gonna pick uh, the Where's the Beef Lady, Claire Peller. Oh, he was there. Wow. Wow. Mike, no. Wow. Why not? Matt Carlins, what about you? What? Where's the meat? So many to choose from. Um, I really want to make a Jonathan Taylor Thomas joke right here, but I'm going to fight that urge. I'm going to try to be serious. (laughs) No, nothing. All right. Hey, hey, you know what? He was the least awkward of Tim Taylor's sons. True. And he just can't wait to be king of the ring. That's oh, what I've heard. Oh, Mad oh, Mike, no. <laughs> that Jesus one. Christ. Um, <laughs> I thought I had the worst joke of the night. I Come usually on. do. The worst joke of the night, Bobby. <laughs> well, well, I usually do. About half half hour left, so. <laughs> Like, no, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal Bobby's and I'm gonna keep it a little recent and I'm gonna tell you it's Flo Rida. Ah, um, damn it! Because I love WrestleMania 28 and I loved how huge that main event felt and it was all because of Flo Rida was out there <laughs> rocking out and he had custom lyrics for The Rock whenever he was singing his song and I just noticed it recently when I was concert. rewatching it and he did an God. odd job and he also nearly obliterated Heath Slater into dust particles. Um, with God one shot, so he did a good job. Florida. He was on My a cycle, too. That thing was large. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bobby, what about you? I have one that's kind of a celebrity, also kind of a dolphin. Uh, Maria Menudos. <laughs> when she wrestled she at WrestleMania. A dolphin? She, she's did a you ever nice hear her lady. laugh? <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like a she dolphin. A nice lady. <laughs> She's wow. nice. I, I like Maria Menounos, but uh, yeah. She, I like Roman Noodles too, but too. She helped her Roman Noodles too. Well, LB, do you have one? I do. Uh, mine has actually already been mentioned, but let me tell you guys about it somebody named Liberace. Like Girls, <laughs> 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 tell me about this 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 enigma named Liberace, no. LB. Here's here's the thing about Liberace. Um, he was just disgustingly talented uh, at the piano um, and uh, wildly popular and very famous. But here's the catch. Nobody knew Liberace was gay. Uh, there had to be no, 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 no. You laugh. No. Nobody fucking no. knew he was gay. No, I'm <laughs> laughing because I know no. you're right. Like, that's, yeah. that's accurate. No, well, there had to be somebody who thought boggles, he was gay. No. I mean, no, Riz, you know oh, who Riz. knew he was gay? The people he was fucking. That's who knew yeah, he was gay. Yeah. So somebody it's didn't amazing. Really gay wasn't really that, like, out, out there. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like the um, the village people. 
Nobody knew that they were gay. They were just like, oh, wow, those guys are very manly. No, they were, nobody knew they were gay. And it's amazing. It's fantastic. People that's, thought Elton that's John was the part of the reason the I world. was so excited. Liberace was on WrestleMania. <laughs> you be a man like Liberace when you grow up. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guarantee some somebody's asshole father said those words <laughs> to his son. Absolutely, probably. Said, you be a man like Liberace when you grow up. <laughs> well, and, come on, they should have known when they saw him doing the kicks with the dance. I was putting, but he was doing the no. kicks. With the dancers, he was yeah. with a ring full of women. With, so yep. and, you know, they probably thought they were all, you know, going to go in the back, do some drugs, and have some, you know, orgies. It, well, yeah, I, I, I got to tell you, if you, uh, if you watch had, like, an the documentary the behind the candelabra, you're not far off. He probably did go in the back and have an orgy, but not with the dancers. <laughs> Oh no! They just watched with, with probably Muhammad with Ali the other Billy performers Martin. that were on that show. The enhancement talent, <laughs> the killer, or memes. the main, or the main event. You know, it depends. Okay. <laughs> oh. The fluffers. Oh, oh! I get. I got that joke on Fox. <laughs> you mean you mean like the referee in that match? Oh. Ah, he's single, fellas. Wait. Who, yes, he is. Who's the referee in that match? Pat Patterson. Patterson. Pat Patterson. Oh, Pat Patterson. Oh, oh you got a joke really? I didn't mean to make. Oh, how about that? <laughs> You're and, welcome. And, and, you know, I, I That's that, awesome. High five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that just happened, sort of. That, that, that just happened. That just happened. Okay, I got mine. I got mine, and hopefully mine's less offensive. <laughs> no. Well, less offensive. Sean Excuse me, yeah. Sorg. What Sorg, is offensive about a gay, gay man? man. More offensive. <laughs> Filthy Sorg. and intolerant, Sorg. The Tron. best Go defense ahead. is a strong offensive joke. Sorg, Sorg. What is your remember when? Uh, my, you know, this is one. Um, um, again, like the era that I was growing up, really getting into wrestling. One of the big highlights for me uh, when I was I was into it, following it. Uh, fairly regularly was leading into WrestleMania five, and I do remember one instance. Kind of, I think this is my—I don't know—say introduction, but it was kind of like a, a early memory for me. For uh, Roddy Roddy Piper had a Piper's Pit at five, uh, Trump <laughs> Plaza, by the way, with Morton Downey Jr. <laughs> oh yes. Now mm-hmm. I did not know who Morton Downey Jr. was. I was. Let's see what was that 1989 so i was eight uh so i'm still kind of cloudy on who the hell he is um but i remember that segment i remember him blowing the cigarette smoke in his face and i remember the fire extinguisher that was the first fire extinguisher spot, <laughs> ex- extinguisher spot i think i saw and now we see it all the time of course um but no that's mine that's fine i got another one you got another one okay the piece at wrestlemania go. 30 Oh Jesus! Hey, Sorg. <laughs> yeah. All right. If we're gonna, hey, did we, wait, wait, did wait, we wait, get what, everybody? What, what's Matt got? Did we get everybody? We didn't ask Mister just... Reigns in the background. He doesn't have anything to say about it. Okay. He's still waiting for his match at WrestleMania 30. He doesn't know what he's gonna do. I see. Uh, but don't you think? Um, right. Don't you kind of miss the days when they would bring in the celebrities and they would actually like put over the wrestlers like Morton Downey Jr. Like now, every time you bring in a mm-hmm. celebrity. Oh, they like oh. are going to whip somebody's ass. Right? I can't remember. Even Maria Menounos is going to whip somebody's there, ass at WrestleMania. There's that. There's that. But but but. Uh, oh, and help me out. Who was in the shower with the Bolsheviks? That's probably the wrong question after oh. the Liberace oh, segment. Oh no no we just no no! no. Um, oh jeez! Oh, 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 Liberace. Oh. It's not Liberace. No, <laughs> no I know no. what you're talking about. What WrestleMania is, six. Yeah, I think it was no. six. No, it wasn't six. Uh, no, oh, like Alan. I, his last name's Alan. Alan Thick. No, it's no, not Alan. Last name's Wait, Alan. I got a list of musicians here. WrestleMania six. It's gonna bug me. Oh man. Seven. Oh. Six. No, but yeah, you're right. He's sitting at a piano telling me. Oh, I have salt and pepper. Steve Allen. Steve Allen. Steve Allen. Steve Allen. Yep. Don't know anything else he did, but that was still one of my favorite segments ever he was from the a first WrestleMania. Host of the Show, wasn't he? Was he? Or, yeah, I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Mm-hmm. Good for him. He's a funny guy. With the bullshit. Oh, and uh, we should also throw a mention out because no one said him. Pete Rose. Yes. Yeah. Pete Rose, because God love that man. He took, one for, he took two for a team. He took three for the team. Three. 
he took a stink face for Christ's sake. That's true. That's true. Yeah, he's pretty uh, used to those though. Respect also, that. wow. I I want to throw an honor, honorable mention for both Ray Charles and Aretha Franklin. Good job, Riz. I like wow. that. That's a Aretha good job. Franklin. Yeah. Why? Definitely. Why? Because because they're black. What is that? Why? No, because Ray Charles couldn't why? tell that he was there or not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ray Charles did not right, know moving on. Uh, I want to. While we're while we're on the subject of celebrities, this week, no, I'm sorry, next week on Monday Night Raw, we've got a doozy. Uh, some oh, old fat excited. Austrian guy <laughs> and Joe Manganiella are going to be on Monday Night Raw, and I want to talk about. Uh, what does Joe Manganiello smell like? I have to hear about Joe Manganiello one more time. <laughs> You're going to hear about it a lot because we're going to talk yeah. about what he smells like because that's what you know, me up you know, right, you Matt Carlin. Know, Matt, Matt Carlin, what does Jen Carlin think that Joe Manganiello smells case. like? <laughs> he what smells it, like Kevin and Macho it, Man impressions. What the hell? Can is we, it cinnamon? Can, can, can somebody, is it like delicious Middle Eastern dusky uh, scents? You know what I mean? Like, oh, he just got off a camel, and yet he smells so raw. 